told you guys about having a laundry fight? You're gonna have them? Let me in. Dad, Mark got his dirty clothes all over my desk. He's a total pig. <laughs> you think your roommate's a pig? How do you think mine feels? <laughs> Mark, what happened to the research for my history paper? I didn't touch it. Mark, it's important. I need that stuff. All right, all right. Let's look together. It's gotta be in here someplace. What's it look like? That's... Uh, a couple articles I clipped out from the newspaper. Newspaper, newspaper. Newspaper? <laughs> Mark, how could you do that? I thought it was trash. Yeah, well, it is now, you little creep. Ow! All right, all right, all right, all right, come on. Break it up, break it up. That's it, Dad. I've had it. I can't live with this little dweeb anymore. <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> little puddle in the middle of it. You can still read the outside of it. There you go. The Senate today was rocked by scandal as two members of former Mimi Top Mullet <laughs> Talk about your yellow journalism. <laughs> School night. <laughs> Maybe I could teach you something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if school had been like this, maybe I would have paid more attention. Mom, Dad, I gotta talk to you. We got a hold of my people, have lunch on Wednesday. <laughs> Come in, Randy. I can't sleep. Mark's making that snoring sound again. <laughs> It's the same sound you make, except there's more of a flummy touch to yours. <laughs> I gotta have my own room. Randy, it is 11 o'clock at night. Now, I promise tomorrow we'll set aside some special time and we'll sit down and talk about it. In other words, you're hoping I'll forget about it by then. <laughs> Worked when you were younger. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. Where were we? Back to school night. Mm. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What about the basement? I'm too old for that hard cement floor. <laughs> no. I could build him a bedroom in the basement. Tim, we've talked about this before. I don't want one of the boys down there. It's too far away. I could put an intercom in. You could nag at the touch of a button. It is not just that. It's cold, it's damp, there's no light down there. Maybe it is now, but you've got to picture the way I'm going to make it. I'm picturing what it's like every time you renovate. There's a big hole in the wall and two paramedics. First of all, I'll make no holes in the wall. And you know what? It might be kind of cool to see Dave and Biff again. Well, it's true that it's been a horrible disaster putting Randy and Mark together in the same room. That's exactly why we should split him up and give him his own room. I hate to admit this. But you might be right. Of course I'm right. Of course I'm right. And the best part about it, I can make a tool time remote out of this Oh, thing. come on. Now, every time we have to build something, why does tool time have to be dragged over here? Because the house is too heavy to drag over to tool time. <laughs> Welcome to a very special tool time, live from Tim's basement. Now, here he is, the star of the show, Tim, the tool man, Taylor. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, um, thank you, Heidi. I am Tim the Toolman Taylor, and you all know my assistant, Al Boyle. Here on Tool Time, we understand the needs of a growing family. That's why we're proud to present converting your basement to a bedroom for the middle son who's not getting on with the younger son's special. <laughs> and here's Tim's middle son, Randy Taylor. Hi, I'm Randy. Welcome to my room. Take off your shoes and don't mess anything up. <laughs> all right. Well, all this week on Tool Time, we'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process of building a room in your basement. Right. And the first step in any room conversion is a close look at the floor plan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Al, you forgot to put the stairway in here. <laughs> Holy Hannah, there they are right there. I came down to get a football. Well, that's okay. Why don't you come over here and say hello? It's my older son, Brad Taylor. Hi, I just want to say that I think the older son deserves the basement room. We're doing a show here, Brad. Yeah, well, it really doesn't matter what he thinks because he's a big piece of... Randy! <laughs> hey, don't give me any more... Brad, you guys are becoming a major pain in the... Tim. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back after these messages from... I asked... <laughs> would, would you just cut it out, you little... Al. Okay. <laughs> now, before we can put up our framing, we need to attach this 2 by 4 nailer plate which we will secure directly into the concrete foundation. For that, we'll need a power fastener. And there's no better fastener on the market than Benford 6100 series. Heidi? Here you are, Tim. Look at that bad boy. Solid steel construction, 22 caliber, full 3-inch pin capacity. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you want to drive in your nails about every 32 inches, or every other stud. All right, Marv, bring the camera in real close and watch how this thing works. Huh? <laughs> Close floor. <laughs> Well, you've seen the progress so far. What do you think? I like the room. I'm just not crazy about the idea of him moving down there. So you got to stop babying him. Got to give him his independence. Turn him into a man. This is the beginning of the end. Now he's living in the basement. Tomorrow, England. <laughs> How did he get to England? I always pictured Randy being a Rhodes Scholar. He doesn't need to go to England to study Rhodes. There's plenty of freeways right here in town. <laughs> just growing so fast. It seems like just yesterday that I was bringing him home from the hospital. If you're talking about last week, that was me. <laughs> he used to be so attached to me. I couldn't leave a room without him grabbing onto my leg. I believe that was also me. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to tool time. All right, one last nail, and our drywall will be finished. Yeah. Or spackle. And one last nail, and our drywall's finished. Hey, Randy. Hey. You know, Brad, I'm, I'm really sorry the basement isn't bigger, so we could each have our own room. You're so full of it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So, and now we just secure the shelf. Actually, before you secure the shelf, you should use your level to make sure it's aligned properly. It is aligned properly. I built this myself. I use my eye. <laughs> if it's level, this ball won't roll. <laughs> All right, on to the building. Yeah, Michelle, it's going to be great. Yeah, it'll be like having my own apartment. And I'm going to be as far away from my parents as humanly possible. <laughs> Which is the one truly sad thing about it. <laughs> Welcome back to Tool Time. And, and now is the moment we've all been waiting for. That's right. Al's going to remove his flannel briefs and sumo wrestle with his mom. <laughs> May the best man win. Go to it, Al. Do you think you'll ever get tired of making fun of my mother? I, uh, I see no sign of it. Dad, my room? All right, Marv. Get ready. Son, your new basement room. Let's step in. Uh -huh. 
this is great. A boy's bunker, a lad's pad, a kid's castle. Hey, Randy, it's my show, okay? <laughs> All right. Because of the small area, we use a lot of space-saving features. Right, Al? That's right. Well, we custom-built in this desk, and we used an expanded steel for the cabinet doors. Right. Look over here. A built-in bed with storage units just like this. We used custom-made steel tubing, one and a quarter inch thick. <laughs> Marv, if you want to come over here, I'm especially proud of this. My own design for an oversized sliding pocket door. But wait, do you see this? What is it? All right. This is a reverse laundry chute. You put your laundry in there, it sucks it right up to the garage. <laughs> right next to the washing machine. Let me demonstrate. Well, Al wasn't watching, I definitely removed his underwear. Simply place them right here. Al, press the button. It's open. Hi. Hey. I just thought I'd come down and uh, wish you sweet dreams on your first night in your new room. You did that when you came down five minutes ago. I know, I know. I'm just having trouble adjusting to you being so far away. Jill, will you stop bothering him and come back upstairs? I'm having trouble leaving. Step in for the laundry chute. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Good night, sweetie. Night, Mom. Bitchy spider, water spout. This little light of mine, oh Lord, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light, ninety-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of beer. If one of those bottles should happen to fall. 98 bottles will be on the wall. 98 bottles will be on the wall. just going to talk about how great your new room is. All I said was hi, Brad. See, there you go again. <laughs> All right, Brad, you want the basement, you can have it. Yeah, right. No, no, I'm serious. I'll trade your rooms. All right, what did Dad screw up? <laughs> is the room tilted? Hey, did the, the ceiling cave in? No, no, the room's fine. Morning, guys. What's up? Nothing. Actually, something is weird. Randy wants to trade rooms with me. What? Brad's unhappy, Mom's unhappy. Let's face it, Dad. My having this room is splitting the whole family apart. <laughs> What's the real reason? Why doesn't anybody believe me? I'm just trying to do something nice. Maybe because that's never happened before? <laughs> Randy, uh, we all put a lot of work into this room for you. I know. 
You scared down there? No, I'm not scared. Gosh, a guy tries to do something nice for his brother and everybody jumps all over him. Hi, hey, sweetheart. How was your first night in your new room? It was fine. Why does everybody keep on asking me about my room? <laughs> is it just me or does Randy seem a little tense? I don't know what's going on. I came down here earlier and he's trying to trade the room to Brad. What? Why would he do that? Beats me. Uh-huh. Well, you know what this means. You're cooking pillows for breakfast again? No, this is Randy's pillow. He obviously hid it up here, which means he slept up here, which means he didn't sleep down there, which can only mean one thing. Absolutely. What? He's too scared to sleep in the basement. No, he's not a ass. He said he wasn't scared at all. Well, he's not going to admit it to you. He'd be too embarrassed. I think I should be the one to handle this. And uh, what are you going to do about it? Well, maybe I should just sleep down there with him for the next few nights until he gets adjusted. Great idea. <laughs> then he'll have a whole new set of problems. Siddley and the mothership to take you back to your own planet? <laughs> no, Tim, I'm on my annual owl prowl. The sound you hear is a male screech owl. By playing this, I'm hoping to attract a female. So things aren't working out too well with your girlfriend, huh? <laughs> no, no, Tim, on my last owl prowl, I studied the male of the species. And this year, I hope to study the female. Golly, that sounds like a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what brings you out here at this late hour? Jill found Randy's pillow in the microwave. You know what she thinks? Oh, probably that he's sleeping on the couch instead of down in the basement. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> Actually, I had a little extra clue. Oh, gosh darn it, she's right. If he's so scared, why would he tell me? Well, Tim, when you were 13, would you have admitted your fears? When I was 13, I wasn't scared of anything. Anybody tells you differently, they're a big, fat liar. <laughs> you know, Tim, I'm reminded of the great Winston Churchill. He said you could take the most gallant sailor, the most intrepid airman, the most audacious soldier, put them at a table together, what do you get? Throw in a cowboy and a policeman, you got the village people playing poker. <laughs> no, Tim, what you get is the sum of their fears. I, I don't understand. What I'm saying, Tim, is if these men had been able to admit their fears, they would have realized there was no reason to be ashamed of them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Woo that scared me. Oh, boy, it scared me, too. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> Although I do have to change my pants. came up here to get a glass of water and whew, tired me out. I'm sorry I scared you. I wasn't scared. It's okay to be scared. You know Winston Churchill? He's scared to death of the village people. I didn't know that. You know, when I was, when I was a kid, I got scared a lot. Oof, boy. Really? What were you scared of? <clears throat> Mostly my grandma and grandpa's house. I lived in this big old house in the attic. It was really cool. It had arched roofs and a, and a tin ceiling that made noise in the rain. And big fans. It was a lot of fun to play with in the daytime. You couldn't force me up there at night. <laughs> How come? Oh, it was a real creepy place. And Grandpa didn't help. He told me there was a big blood-sucking bat up there. <laughs> and he wasn't talking about Grandma. So, you fell for Grandpa's blood-sucking bat story, huh? When he told me that, I wasn't scared at all. Yeah, when he told to me, he didn't have his teeth in. So 
I guess you eventually got over your fear of attics. Huh? Didn't have to. Tornado came and took the whole top of the house off. Bats and all. So I guess you're not afraid of attics anymore. Nope. Terrified of tornadoes, but... <laughs> You know, I was in such a hurry to, to get you down into your room in the basement that I, I might have forgot to give you the checklist. What checklist? Well, there's a very important checklist about uh, weird stuff that happens in a basement. And without that information, it can be a pretty creepy place. What do you say we go over these items one by one? That'd be great. How about we start with sounds? Good one. All right, come on. Get your pillow. Now, this sound, very common. Gas furnace, number one. Number two. Number two. Ding, ding, gong, 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 gong. Air in the pipes. Don't worry about that one. Great. This one. Ugh. 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 What basement sound is that? That wouldn't be the basement. That would be coming from my room. It's trying to digest your mom's meatloaf. <laughs> and don't worry about this one either. That's just a big blood-sucking bat coming down to get you in the basement. <laughs> As you can see, we've already framed our vent opening for the heat and air. Now we're ready to attach the duct to the trunk line. Trunk line? Al, would that be like a bunch of elephants doing the conga? Bum, 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 b